What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. How's it going, guys? Thank you for watching. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, we'll be reviewing Von Usersdorf Classic Patchouli Balmy. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Von Usersdorf, it's not a house that talked about a lot, although it should be because they do have quite a few great fragrances. I own several of their offerings. Mm -hmm. The creative director is Camille Hempfling. He's of German descent and his family used to have an apothecary many, many years ago. Okay. And there was formulas which he found later in later years and revived some of their formulas and what have you yeah the he is now in amsterdam inspired by new york and the fragrances are made in grass france so we're <laughs> all over the place here with all over the Uses world stuff. yeah it's a really great line they premiered in 2011 there was classic mimosa classic myrrh classic patchouli classic vetiver and classic orange orange yes nice. cool those are all great. I do happen to like them very much. Okay. In 2015, they released Classic Opaponex, a great winter fragrance. It's very resinous. It's very yeah. I was gonna say amber colored like this. Okay. I got mine so early that it doesn't have a label on it. <laughs> oh, really? I'm I'm pretty close with um, Camille, and we correspond a lot. And he sent this to me several months back, but I wanted to wait until it was colder weather because this is such a perfect fragrance for cold weather. It's not for the summer. Yeah, I don't now think. is the season to wear it, I think, yeah. It's coming out later this year, 2018, and it's called Classic Patchouli Balmy, so I guess it's a fine cut, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, right? The Classic Patchouli is very good, but this is so much more. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's just really, really an amazing fragrance, in my opinion. I know this one has vanilla in it. Would you say it's a little bit sweeter? Mm, nah. It, really. it's, it's woodsy, it's patchouli. And Watch. mossy and stuff. Okay, Tell I'll take the enough. note, sure. So in the top we have myrtle, cedar, and myrrh, and black patchouli. In the mid we have more patchouli, tree moss, and sandalwood. And in the base we have even more patchouli, musk, and vanilla. Patchouli bomb, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I had my mother smell this and she loved it, by the way. I'm and very, it stained the card too? I'm looking for that, it didn't. It actually did. this side it did. It did, all right. Wait, so you, yeah, yes, it's yeah. there. Don't spray on white clothing or white t-shirts. <laughs> this is just really a thick, thick, warm, woody, mm -hmm. and definitely patchouli. You smell it throughout the whole fragrance. The sweetness is mm, very minimal. I would sort of compare it to Angel or any of the Amen and Flankers mm -hmm. in terms of the dry down and the patchouli, but the sweetness is, there's no sweetness here. This is a what do you fragrance? Yeah, I do think this is a really hefty patchouli. I get a little bit of the sweetness. I do pick up on the vanilla and I think it works really well in combination with the patchouli. The only thing that I smelled about the patchouli though, as soon as it opened up, is I got a little bit of soil from it. So earthy. Yeah, a little earthy. But then that quickly does die down and it has a lot of those green notes like the myrtle and the tree moss mm -hmm. that kind of take the attention away from the soil, which is a good thing in my opinion. This is definitely for fans of like, Hindu Grass by Nasumato. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some other good patchouli fragrances that we can The Amen series, to? you know, Pure Malt, the Dry Downs more so. Um, Hindu Grass, um, uh, Parfum de Marley Nisian. Oh, okay, sure, sure. This one though is a lot heftier, I think. Whereas the other iterations are a bit more on the dry side. Mm -hmm. This one is very moist. Like it carries a, a lot forth with it. It's big. It, it projects, yeah, yeah. And, it projects <clears throat> and lasts for a very long time. And it's just really one of those scarf, cozy weather fragrances. Yeah, I could see that. So, I could see that. That's a good description. Now, are all the fragrances from the line typically this heavy uh, in terms of no. performance? No, the Opapanax is. Mm -hmm. the classic Orange is a little fresher, and the Classic Vetiver is fresher, and the Classic Mimosa is an aquatic floral. Okay. And uh, yeah, they're not as big as this. 
Oh, okay. All right. Good. Definitely good. By no means not good, but they're not as... They don't they don't punch you in the grill. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. And is this powdery at all to you? Patchouli always is a little powdery. I was going to say, yeah. Always. A little bit. Don't you find it? I think, I think it is a little bit, yeah. But again, I don't think the powder takes away from the attention of the patchouli and the vanilla and the green elements. And I think those really take center stage. And I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody's gut reaction would be, oh, this smells powdery. Are you I wearing think, baby powder, bro? Exactly, right? <laughs> and no, it doesn't have that clean baby powder smell to it. I mean, it really has a persona about it. I like it. I do like it. It has the powderiness of like a shaggy. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah, okay. I can uh, see that. It's, it's a great winter fragrance that I definitely think you should check out. These are not available. They don't even have a website, I don't think. Oh, really? It, there's a website presence, but it doesn't have much detail. But as far as in the United States, you can find the Indigo Perfumery mm -hmm. and a Twisted Lily in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, Brooklyn. That's cool. So, uh, yeah. So you can check them out if you'd like at those places where I told you. I'm sure they offer samples. But for today, I would love to offer you a 10 milder can to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Subscribe to Mr. Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite patchouli fragrance is or what you enjoyed most about today's video. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, buddies, beautiful ladies, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.